What's going on? Good morning. Good morning. That was my Australian impression. Good morning. Oh my god, I was steaming last night, my lads. Fucking rubbered. And Big Shagger texted me. Old Chris Eldridge is on the panel. So of course you know I had to join. I couldn't let this moment pass passes by. Fucking hell, mental. Mental scenage. He said the infamous Lord J or something. We meet there's some something like that along those sort of lines. Uh first off, Davy piped in. Oh, I thought you don't watch this channel. I wasn't watching. I explained. I was taxed. Oh yeah, one of your minions taxed me. Oh, oh you don't watch. So I just said it was it was Shagger taxed me. It's not that big of a deal. He went, oh, I have it. Fairly shut him up, right and quick. Um So as I was talking to Chris, I mean at least I mean maybe Tim was telling the truth when he said Chris records all the streams. Jesus. Anyway, so I was saying to him, uh, Chris, I mean, I've heard you've made a success of your life. What do you think about your brother using the food bank? Now, before I give you his reply, let me tell you a wee fact here. Food banks aren't government funded. They're run by people in communities to help, um, like, single parent families, old people, even working families. They're just struggling to make ends meet with the cost of living today. But again, they're running off people's generosity. The government aren't buying food and giving it to people and say, here, dish out it. That's not the way it works. Hold on. There's Bully Jr. I was telling you in his room. Um, it's not... It's What was it saying? <laughs> Alright, it's not the government. It's, it's run off people's generosity. People donating food to the food bank. And then they give it out to people. Oh, that's what I was saying about the working families. Not that I wanted to get up on my soapbox. But again, they're not government funded. So when I said that, the question, his answer, his reply to me was, he's playing the system. What system? Food banks are not for addicts. That's, they're not. They're not for a drug addict to fire all brown into his arm. And then live on a go to a food bank. That's not that's not what it's for. They're not for alcoholics to drink all their money away, and then have them go to a food bank. The same with gambling addicts. So when he says, "Yeah, he's playing the system," and here's something, hell, if he was playing, it, I don't even care about people on the brew. What the fuck do I care people on the Scooby Doo for? If you're playing the system, congratulations, fair play to you. But that's not a system. What, he's playing the system, he's playing off people's generosity. That's not, that's not the way it is, Chris. Yeah, he's playing the system. Then whenever I said to him, the conversation went on about, I couldn't really even hear him because Davy was shouting in the background. But, I don't know, I don't think it was on long, it was only on for a few minutes. So then when Chris started having to go with me about uh, me ex, oh yeah, she's thinking, blah, blah, blah. And when I wasn't biting, he says he's coming to film me in. <laughs> oh no, Jesus Christ, it's been a terrible couple of weeks on here for me. People's coming to film me in. They're, I'm telling you, there's, Chris, rent the minibus. You, Slug, Tiger, Pick up Davy, Valley, PJ. Just a lads tour on tour to Belfast to fill me in. I'll pick up Sue as well. If he's still feeling angry, it's hard to tell him because he flips like a light switch. But now Chris Eldridge is on to me. Jesus fucking Christ! Absolute insanity, the lads. I don't even know why why he was on that panel last night. He was obviously with Tim, they were all on sniff. Chris is a bit of a, a sniff head. And I think, well, 
I was told they were celebrating the reason, but I'm not giving out the reason because it's not it's not my place to say it. But um Absolute madness, the lads. Absolute madness. The Eldridge family are after me. Jesus. Catch the King of Bale first. Catch James Bolt. Catch the James Bolt. Fucking hell. This place, I mean, <laughs> this place just gets madder and madder and madder. Give it a week. Chris Eldridge will be on panels regular as clockwork. Now he's, now he's been on one. He's got it. He's wet his beak. He's got a taste for it. That's how it starts. Um, what was it? P PJ's too? Here, PJ, here's an idea, mate. Cut your toenails, you tramp. I mean, that's fucking nuts. It's amazing. You bite your nails down until there's nothing left. But you now have toenails that would rival Freddy Krueger's fucking claw. That toenail on that big toe starting to bend over. Starting to curl around your toe. It's that long. You trump. 